Hello! In today's video, we're going to be filling another spot in the alleyway with a laundromat in my Lego city, Brickadelphia. Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. I am Steve, and in the past few updates, I have been kind of working on shaping the skyline in Brickadelphia. One of my goals heading into this year was to really solidify uh, the main block in my city. We've made a couple of mocks. Uh, we've split up Assembly Square into two halves. We've rearranged things around a little bit, and actually now we're pretty close to that goal. Working on the alleyway and the second row of buildings connected to it has actually been a pretty fun challenge. It's been fun designing buildings using limited space and limited brick selection. For me, there's a little bit of an added special feeling, like little magical tingles. Making something out of what I have on hand rather than just ordering, you know, whatever my heart desires. The heart wants what it wants, you know? So as we begin building the first floor, just keep in mind that the alleyway is actually on the back side of the laundromat. This ATM is a 100% official Lego build. I've been cannibalizing a couple of three-in-one creator sets uh, periodically for parts. I thought this ATM was the perfect thing to put in an alley. Yeah, it's next to a police station, but I feel it's deep enough into the alley where I think some shady stuff could still happen. Now one of the coolest perks that I have at my job is being able to design and create my own custom stickers and signs for Brickadelphia. I have a handful of custom stickers in my city, from the sign on the front of my police station to the movie posters and the marquee on my palace cinema. I even have Shatner playing on the big screen. How cool is that? Freaking cool. So once I decided on the name for Brickadelphia's newest laundromat, I decided to make it official and put the company's logo right on their awning. If you happen to read the title of this video, you'd uh, already know that I named the laundromat Tidy Whiteys. It's a play on words. Hey, I'm a dad. I have 100% complete authority to make that joke, okay? There's nothing you can do about it. All right, go clean your room. Okay, with the ground floor all done, let's go ahead and build the next three floors. I've decided to create some apartments above Tidy Whitey's. I feel like that's what would be above a laundromat in real life, so it felt pretty natural to do that. Every great building has to have a roof. Well, maybe not stadiums and stuff, but usually like normal buildings should have a good roof. So let's go ahead, build the roof, and lock those floors together real tight.
because I'm using just the limited bricks that I have in stock, I thought I'd put a downspout on the side of this building. I think it's gonna give the building a unique look. Plus, it's gonna help hide the mismatched bricks a little better. And speaking of hiding mismatched bricks, I originally planned on keeping the laundromat close to the police station. That way it would be hard to see the side. However, by doing that, the back row of the windows on the police station kind of gets covered up. So I've decided to move the Hotel Coral Essex and the laundromat to the right two studs. Smart. Tidy Whitey's is only six studs wide. It's not the biggest building in the city yet. Yeah, sure, I get that. However, I do think uh, for its size, it does pack a nice little punch to the skyline. It complements the Hotel Coral Essex nicely. Uh, it adds some more height to the city and to the skyline. And I think it looks great from several angles. And just like that, we made it through another city update, guys. Congratulations, you did it. Yes. Drop me a line in the comments. Let me know what you think of the new Tidy Whitey's laundromat slash dry cleaners. I kind of have a hard time saying laundromat. Is it laundromat, laundromat, laundry mat? Anyway, I really do appreciate you guys taking the time out of your day and watching my little stupid video. It means a lot, it really does. I'm gonna put on my deductive reasoning cap for a sec here. Because you made it this far in the video, I'm going to take a big wild guess. You're either super, super bored or more than likely you enjoyed the video. So why not hit that like button? Help me out a little bit. Let me know you liked it. Drop me a line in the comments. I love talking to you guys. All five of you. <laughs> Subscribing is a great way to help out the channel as well. Plus, you won't miss future updates to Brickadelphia. It makes perfect sense. As always, thank you so much for watching. Can't believe I just did this with my hands. As always, thank you so much for watching, and we'll catch you next time. Bye! <laughs>